I don't know if there's the tea shops off us. Is there a tea park on that? No. no. <laughs> and immediately you look at this building, you can see the problem. The two flags flying in the front are Ukrainian and European. That is the problem. They have the tricolor in there, hidden away in there. That is the problem. These people put Europe and everywhere else ahead of us. Now, just to do an announcement, just in case I forget to say it later on. There's a protest on Saturday at one o'clock at the State Broadcaster in RTE in Falls Bridge. One o'clock next Saturday. Now, I think Peter's going to say a few words. Sorry, Paul. Say it with me, anyway. Where is she? She should be looking. She should be the father. Yeah, we're not making tea. We're not making tea. I saw that young one earlier. It's not. How many partners are sat in this building? Tell them the whole country is coming in unison. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not about that. One, two, one, two. Nothing, nothing. Well done. One, two, one, two. One, two. It's not great. It's not great, Maliki. Do you want to give me that? It's not great. One, two, one, two. And the battery's on that as well? No, the battery's on that. Okay. Oh. One, two, one, two. Hello, everyone. My name is Paul of the Time. I'm Zoyne from Blanchestown. I'm not here because I'm far right or a racist. I'm here because I'm a concerned parent and a concerned Irish citizen. These people in this building in here have failed every last one of you. Yeah, they have turned the media and everything else at war on us just for standing up for our rights and for stopping these migrants or whatever you want to call them coming into our country. It needs to stop. <laughs> Leo Varadka is a lawyer. They're all lawyers. Varadka was called out in the doll in that chamber on the 17th of December as being a World Economic Forum young global leader of the future. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's on record in there, in the doll, Matty McGrath said it, that needs to be investigated because that is a conflict of interest. They are not, they are, they want to get rid of the sovereignty of this country. That's just the way it is. We've already got rid of our neutrality, which by bringing Zelensky in there on a big screen, they took sides. They should have never took sides. We are a neutral country. We should have brokered talks between both of them countries. Yeah. This government are trying to get rid of their sovereignty. They're going to sign it over to the WHO to win the WHO pandemic treaty. And now the WHO is coming first. The WEF are taking their sovereignty as well. And as I said, a new neutrality is gone. And this needs to stop. Them people in there are crooks. They are gangster house. That's all it is. And they all need to be. Coveney. Coveney needs to be, was already investigated and he said there was nothing to see here. We all know there was something to see there. He lost his phone records and everything else. And then you had, of course, Pascal. You had Pascal done out there a few weeks ago. I was just a few posters, nothing to see here. And then you have Leo Varadkar who gave a 210 million euro contract to his friend and nothing was said about it. The guy they never even investigated. It was a no-show. This needs to stop. They need to be held accountable for everything they are doing to this country. This country is on its knees. And they're bringing in more migrants. They're spending 50 million. We have the evidence. Yeah, oh, I know, sweetheart. I know, I know. My mother has the whole evidence of what the block Yeah, yeah. The whole lot of all the intake. They have, they have put 50 million euro into this to bring refugees in. Better safe bringing the 50 million euro out to Dublin airport and getting them out of this country. We don't want them here. Our children can't walk the streets. Our wives can't walk the streets. Even our boys can't walk the streets now. This has to stop. We're sick of being called racists. We're sick of being called lawyers. Whatever for our kids and our families. And I'm not saying to the streets of Dublin anymore, are we? No! Are we going to put up with it? No! What are we going to do? Get your hands! Get your hands! Everybody, everybody in that door, every single party, they're all loyal. They all play on vulnerable people. Unions, stop paying your union fees. Imagine a union man telling people they're not educated. 
Jews and said Jews are all not educated. It's shocking. And do you know what the report will be? Fascists on the street again. But look at all the kids and women here. It would be about their families. I've been harassed on Twitter, abused by loads of them. But you know what? I'm not afraid anymore. Thank you. 